In this video, we're going to cover how to use HyperEyes with ActiveJet. First step, I'm going to choose an existing image, a template that we already have. In this case, it's a simple welcome that's using a first name personalization. Just choosing the default integration, we get the URL of the image we want to use in a, in a personalization. And then we can just jump over into Active Chat, where I've just started the creation of a new bot. What we have here, we're in the Messenger section of a new bot, which I've called Test, very imaginatively. And down the left-hand side here, we have the different Messenger types. In this, in this example, I'm going to use the Chat widget, uh, which is used uh, to go with the website. Uh, so I'm just going to put in our domain name, add that to the bot. And then we, and here we have the JavaScript, which we would add onto the website. Once we've done that and added it to the website page, we can open the Visual Flow Builder. Here we have um, the, the start off of a, a usual chat flow. Um, and so obviously, this is a, a default one, so we can just say, so if he's just use a, a brand new one, I'm going to add text. I'm going to add in a question. Hey, what's your name. Now maybe we would want to phrase that in a nicer way, um, but for the sake of this demo, we can just link those up. And then what we can do is um, we can add a listening event. And what that will do is that will record the, um, the question over there. So in this case, we're saying first first name. So we're going to save the input of here, what's your name, um, to a variable called first name straight away. And then from there, what we can do is we can link an image to that event. So we can link, oops, link that to our image. And then going back to Hyper, I think we still have this link copied. I'm just going to copy it again, our image link. And here we have the image URL. Now, in this case, all we really need is the first name. So I'm just going to delete all of that. We've got our image name here. So we've got our image URL um, and the first name equals, in this case, we've created a variable called called first name there we go and as we start to type it it, it does um, auto complete so what I've noticed whilst using active chat is it's important to have a space at the end of the URL and what you notice if I don't have the space it will actually render the picture and you can see here the picture is rendered and we don't want to see that we want to see the picture blank and so if we put a single space after there it will just show the grayed out image and that's what we want to see so not what we've done so far within our flow is we've asked the user a question of um, the person on, on the bot, we've listened for the answer, and then we've passed the answer to our image URL. So what I'm gonna do is just um, save that and then jump over into the website. So here we are on the website um, for HyperEyes test page. And here you can see in the right bottom hand corner here, um, we've got the little chat bot we created. Now probably since the video, um, I've added a few more questions just for the purpose of demonstration. And here we can see, first of all, it's asking for my name. I'm just gonna put my name in here. And as we'll see, um, it's personalized the image that we included. So we can say, oh, I hope Ian likes it. Um, with a little cute dog here saying, oh, hi Ian, do you think personalization works? Now I've added a few more questions here just to kind of show it a little bit further. So, hey Ian, do you like coffee? Oh, actually I do, I love coffee. So I'm gonna say yes to that. And again, we're passing the response to that. Cool, me too. So I've got your coffee. And then here we can see the personalized picture um, with, um, with the name on it. So, um, so now we're asking another question. Can you tell me a little bit about the website? So I'm just gonna put in a, a website here, chatwhale.com. And you can see, great, okay. Oh, and here we can see we've got another personalized image. And actually this is the Chatwhale website we've got here. I would, as we're just, uh, just backing up the fact that we're checking it out. Um, and then here we go um, with a final suggestion. Have you thought about adding chat to your site? And here we can say we've got the website in a, a nice Mac, in a MacBook and we've added a, a chat element onto the website. 
So obviously there's quite a basic illustration, but I hope this guy, I hope this shows you guys um, how simple it is to start using personalized images um, in, in a chat flow you know, to really uh, highlight uh, some of the elements, you know, obviously coupling that with some of the other use cases around tickets or events or showing your product or your product embedded in a, a website, you know, straight off the bat in an automated conversation can be really powerful. So I hope you found this video really useful and I uh, look forward to catching the next one.